Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And I post new Star Stable videos every single day, so make sure to have notifications on for that. And today, besties, basically, I'm just going to be doing a quick comparison between mobile and PC slash laptop of Star Stable. And yeah, I decided this could be fun to show some of the differences between them. And I'm just making this the very, very basic. Six, but if you want a part two comparing them, let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's begin. The first one is horse care and on computer, there are actually two ways that you could care for your horse. The newer way where you click on your horse's head and you get all of the interactive buttons. And from there, you could choose to scrape your horse's hoof, feed food, and then it brings up a little icon of all the food you have in your inventory. Or you could do it the old style and old fashioned way where you open your inventory and you drag the food and items onto your horse. These are both really, really good and fast methods and I really like them both. So on computer, I would give the care system a 10 out of 10 stars. Okay, here's an example of something I didn't understand. I was trying to feed and care for my horse and it would not let me in a stable where caring is 100% allowed and there was an update last year that made it so you could like take care of your horse anywhere. So I didn't really understand that, but also caring on mobile, I didn't really know how to do it at first, but this is the method that I found how I do it. And I open the inventory button and then I just drag the water, the items I need onto my horse and then it takes care of it. But it was a little bit iffy to figure it out at first, just because I am new to the mobile experience. And then it gives you the little daily caring for your horse complete symbol, which I really like. I'd give it an eight or nine out of 10 just because it is confusing that you can't care for your horse everywhere and that could get a little bit annoying. <laughs> Many years ago, Star Stable got an update that made it so you could see each and every, every like individual item. And this has been a lifesaver on so many different occasions. You don't see the type of item, you now see the actual item icon. And this is super helpful when you're making outfits for fun or if you're just in a hurry and you need some good stat items. This could be helpful to make a matching outfit and like sort it by color and stuff like that. So I really do like the items and icons and how they look on computer. And and I would rate this a 10 out of 10 for sure because they are literally iconic besties and everywhere it's just super easy and super accessible to see what you have in your inventory, whether it be your go inventory or your home stable inventory. <laughs> mobile, I was really, really surprised when I logged into my home stable and went to create an outfit and it was so difficult because mobile actually has the old version of these icons. So you can only see the items by type. So if you don't have it color coordinated, yikes, that's going to be pretty hard to make an outfit. You're going to have to look through each and every one of your items. Some of the newer items like leg wraps and stuff like that do have the specific icons, but as you can see, most of them don't like saddles so like, good luck with that and making outfits on mobile besties <music> Not related to character icons, but there's this super omega annoying glitch. See on the left, that's how it's supposed to be. And then it gives me this and I cannot move my character at all. Left and right doesn't work. I can only go forward and backward. So beware of this glitch. I have no clue how it happens, but you literally have to restart and like swipe up mobile and go back into the game to be able to access it properly again. <laughs> Classic training on PC is always super duper fun as there are a lot of races and it's fun to do. The drawback is that it is not convenient to train your horse as you can't like take it on the go unless you have a laptop and you have to be at home on your PC or if like your laptop isn't very portable, you can't like train somewhere else if you want to get your daily training done. So this has definitely always been a drawback to training on PC and laptops. But overall, I'm really, really used to the control 
girls and I think that it's really fun and you kind of get the whole overall training experience and also the interface doesn't really crowd you so you can like see clearly where you're going and I just really like training on computer. I'd give it maybe a 6 or 7 out of 10. It is classic, don't get me wrong, but just due to like the fact that you can't train anywhere and like whenever you want, it is a pretty big drawback, but I really do like it. Maybe actually a 7 or 8. I'll give it that. mobile is definitely a little bit to get used to as the controls you can only turn left or right as you see on the bottom left and you could turn forward or backward on the bottom right of your screen. A drawback is that a bunch of the buttons kind of crowd your vision but they are transparent so it isn't that big of a deal and it can be like kind of hard to get the hang of it at first but once you do I think it could be really fun as like if you're waiting in line or something and you're like waiting for the bus or you're on the school bus or something you can always do a little bit of training to kind of get some training done in your day and I think this will encourage a lot of people to train more as well and definitely me because I need to train more huh anyways but yeah I really do like training and the controls are the only thing that are a little bit iffy in my opinion just the left and right I thought it was gonna be like that circle one that you get when you walk but other than that yeah <laughs> Most of you besties are probably super familiar with the computer slash PC slash laptop kind of user interface and where all of the buttons are. Now my screen is a little bit smaller than most, um, like the user interface and stuff like that, so sometimes it can be kind of hard to look and zoom in on the icons, but overall I really do like the PC kind of style and layout and it really is up to personal opinion and choice as it's just like how easy it is to access the buttons, like if it's fun to access the buttons, how it looks all together and stuff like that. Overall, I really, really do like the user interface on PC and it's really easy to navigate and get the hang of. Hey. 
Next, we have mobile, and at the beginning when you join mobile, there are actually a couple tutorials that you can follow that show you where everything are. But the main thing you use are the top three buttons in the right hand corner, and from here you have access to call for pickup, basically character sheets, and your riding club, and everything like that can be found in these three buttons in the corner, which kind of just compresses it and makes it a lot easier to access and see. There are quite a lot of buttons on screen, but I think there's not anything that Star Stable could end up doing that about that, because you know, there does need to be a lot of buttons on screen in order to play, and you can also access chat very, very easily and switch between, say, global and uh, friend chat and stuff like that. You can also hide chat, so there are a lot of personalization options. The only thing is that you can't access the full map while you are walking or moving your horse. It will actually bring you to a hard stop right away. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching the Star Stable video. I hope you enjoyed and if you want a part two, be sure to let me know in the comments down below as this was just a very basic comparison between the two. And yes, have the best day ever besties. Bye bye!